Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts, and in this week's short video, we want to cover how do you calculate and filter to the max day in your data set. So I've got some Superstore data here, and let's say the answer, the question that I'm trying to answer is what did we sell today? So we're going to throw our products on rows, and we're going to throw our sales on columns, and we're going to sort this bad boy, and now we need to filter the data set to just today, okay? And so, um, or I guess I, I, sh I should back up, not today, because the today function, you could just use a relative date filter, but whatever the max day is in our data set. And so the reason I say that is because you might have a data source that um, refreshes almost daily, or maybe it is daily, but maybe it's not right at 12.01 a.m., or maybe your data hasn't processed by then. So, you know, it might be 6 a.m., and the data hasn't refreshed with, you know, yesterday's or today's data yet or, or whatever, right? And so in that case, you may wanna just filter to keep only the latest date in your data set, okay? Um, so there is a little bit of a challenge with that, right? If I just try and go to create a calculated field, I'll call this my max day filter, all right? I might not be able to tell Tableau, hey, if the order date is equal to the maximum order date, then, uh, you know, keep that value. Like Tableau doesn't like this, tells us we cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate um, <clears throat> arguments with this function. So, so what does that mean? Well, order date, that's a row level reference. So that's telling Tableau, go through every single row of data, look at the order date. And then max order date, that's actually a, a uh, aggregated value, meaning that it's gonna aggregate at the level of whatever um, the uh, dimension is in the view. So in this case, even if this did work, is the Canon image class, is the order date equal to the maximum order date from Canon image class? Like it doesn't even really make sense. We just wanna know the latest day in the data set. So we're gonna use a little trick, a little workaround here. Um, if you know about level of detail expressions, this may be familiar. Um, let me see if I can just get down to those. And it, we're gonna use sort of a variety of a fixed function. So for those that have used level of detail, you know that a fixed function allows you to define the exact level that you want an aggregation to happen. So you could say fixed on the product, tell me what the maximum order date was or something like that. But we're gonna get even craftier with that. All that we need to do is to take max order date and wrap that aggregated value in curly braces, okay? Let me zoom in so you can see those. If you've never used the curly braces on your keyboard before, fair enough. I'm not sure how much I had before doing level of details. Um, they should be right around your enter key. It's the hard brackets. If you shift and hit a hard bracket key, it'll give you the curly brace. So this is like fixing on the entire data source. So I'm now asking Tableau, does the order date equal the maximum order date from the entire data source? And to boot, Tableau does not consider the uh, data source max order date as an aggregated value. So what I can do is I can hit okay, and I'm gonna drag and drop max day filter to the filters card, just keep true. And this should just be showing me what sold on the maximum day in the data set, okay? So two quick things. Um, first of all, let's validate that this worked. So I'm gonna do a quick right click and drag of my order date to my row shelf, select month, day, year, hit okay. So I can see this data goes all the way through November 25th, today's date. And then if I grab that field max day filter, put that on the row shelf, you can see it's true for today's date and false for every other date. So that's a good first validation for us that this seems to be working. And then second, because in theory, let's say at 6 a.m. tomorrow, it's 1126, but the latest data we have is 1125. Um, how do I tell my user what the actual day the maximum day in the data set is. So now we're safe actually. If I put order date on detail, let's say, and then if I um, choose, let's do a little custom here and choose month, day, year, um, what I can do now is in the title, what did we sell today? And then I'm just gonna insert the uh, month, day, year of my order date. So now I can see November 25th, 2022. So if somebody logged in tomorrow, it's November 26th, and they see this, they go, oh, okay, we haven't had the data refresh from yesterday yet, so I'm actually looking at yesterday's data. 
Um, so the reason I even had to come up with this in the first place is I was working with a, a client in a data set at one point where you know the latest data, the data source basically only updated when there was a new record. And that might be from today, it might be from two days ago, it might be from a week ago. So we just wanted to tell people, hey, what's the latest data that you are looking at? What day is that? So I hope that this uh, rundown on how to find the maximum day in your data set and filter on it is helpful. And we look forward to covering more content with you here next week. So thank you so much for following along and we'll talk to you soon.